Let's talk last chance qualifier. More specifically, let's talk about the workouts and what they should look like at the last chance qualifier. Now just quickly, if you don't know what the last chance qualifier is, it is basically the three athletes that were next in line to those who actually qualified through their semi-final. So if you were at the Torium Pro, there were three qualifying spots. Now for the last chance qualifier, we are gonna have athlete number four, five, and six. The next three in line will get thrown in the last chance qualifier competition. Over in Europe, in the States, they had five qualifying spots per uh, semi-final and so for them they will have athlete number six seven and eight will get thrown into the last chance qualifier and so on so end up we end up with 30 athletes on both the male and female side competing for two more spots at the games so currently for the crossfit games we have 38 males and 38 females confirmed with two more spots that will be determined this coming weekend at the last chance qualifier but today I want to talk about the actual programming and the workouts for the Last Chance Qualifier. See, last year we only had four events. It's a three-day competition. We had four events and two of those events, workout number two and workout number three, were both single modality workouts, meaning they only had one movement in that workout. So workout number two was a three rep max deadlift. So not only was it a single modality workout, it was also a strength event. And you might argue that when there's only four workouts and one of them is a strength event, that's a big chunk of the points being determined by strength. And so perhaps you can argue that you're not gonna end up with the most well-rounded, fittest person, but the test, the, the overall test, the competition is skewed heavily towards a stronger athlete. Uh, workout number two, Sorry, workout number three was 100 burpees to a target. So again, just a single modality test. And then workout number one and four were more your classic CrossFit workout. So workout number one, we had a couplet of rowing and dumbbell snatches, alternating dumbbell snatches. And workout number four was a triplet of double unders, squat leans, and legless row climbs. So now looking back at those workouts, those tests, what do you guys think? Do you think last year, the competition called the Last Chance Qualifier, was it a good test? Uh, is it justified for what it is? I guess these athletes, they didn't qualify, right? They didn't make it through the semifinals. So they're getting one more shot. So you could say that, look, these guys don't deserve a whole nother five or six, you know, event competition. They can just, uh, they just have to do with what, you know, they get given and four tests is enough. Uh, you might argue that. And so um, I wanna hear from you guys. Do you think we need more tests or do you just think that the four tests that we do have just can't include single modality tests or like a, a absolute strength test because i guess if you add a fifth or a sixth workout to the weekend it does make it feel i personally feel better about that strength event um, not being such a major chunk of the available points and i guess the same way you can kind of isolate and talk about the strength event you know what about a conditioning test or a gymnastic heavy test you could argue the same thing that uh, you know if the programming does not have a strength event in it you're not going to get the most well-rounded athlete you're going to end up with someone who's more gymnastically gifted or more cardiovascularly gifted in my mind you need to make every competition regardless of where it is in the season whether it's the open the quarterfinals the semi-finals the last chance qualifier or even the games every competition you have to try and make it as well-rounded as possible and so I think it needs to be the same for the last chance qualifier it needs to be a well-rounded test I don't believe last year was a well-rounded test I do think that only having four events and one of those being a strength event I think that is too biased too skewed towards a stronger athlete so I think you have to do one of two things either take that event out and add um, you know test strength alongside some other components of fitness or leave it there and add a fifth, maybe even a sixth event, um, just to make the test a bit wider, a bit broader. But what do I know? What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Uh, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think the workouts programming should look like? Are you happy with four events? Um, do you want more? Are you happy with single modality tests and strength tests in the last chance qualifier? What do you guys reckon? Now, one factor that makes the whole thing even more complex is which movements do you use? Obviously we've had the open, we've had the semi-finals, so we've already seen a bunch of movements being used and ideally you want to keep the tests 
unique and different and special, right? You don't want to just repeat stuff that athletes have already been tested on. This brings up a point that I have mentioned before, which is at the semifinals, because we now have so many different workouts, every semifinals programming different workouts, it's very, very hard when it comes to something like the games or the last chance qualifier to find movements that haven't been tested. Whereas if every semifinal had the same workouts across the weekends, like the regional days, it then makes it much easier to go, cool, these are the group of movements that have been tested already, let's do different variations or different movements altogether. But now, for example, at the Torian, we had overhead squats tested, but maybe at the other semifinals, there were no overhead squats. So it makes it very hard to kind of pick movements that haven't been used, because in some instances they have been used and others they haven't. So I guess it just brings my point back, you know, uh, just trying to make myself feel justified and correct here that every semi-final should be programmed the same way like the regional days. I know there's lots of arguments the other way, but uh, that's still my, my feeling. Anyway guys, I just wanted to jump on here and ask your opinion on the last chance qualifier and what it should look like. My hope for this weekend is that we see five workouts rather than four, so an additional test, and maybe not a strength only test, but rather testing strength alongside some other components of fitness, whether that be a machine or some gymnastics, but uh, you know, testing it under some fatigue or alongside some gymnastics, I feel like is a, a, a better test. So I wanna hear your comments, I wanna hear your ideas, so let me know down below. That's it for today, guys. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. <laughs> Just crack the high, I get sad when I leave you guys. I choke up. Okay, <laughs> wow. Guys, stay sexy. Keep roaring love. See you soon. Mwah.